Savior. And I'm telling you, unless you repent and turn from your wickedness, uh, you're going to split hell wide open. There's no way that you can be a called, ordained man or woman of God and keep it to yourself. Honey, you're going to be like the city that's set on a hill that cannot be hid. Do you hear me tonight? I'm talking to you in the name of Jesus. The truth, the truth, the truth, the truth will stand when the world's on fire. What have you done for the kingdom of God today? What are you doing for the kingdom of God? Make a list and look at it, my friend. Are you doing all you can do? Is there more? Sure, there's more. Quit closing your eyes to the truth. Quit closing your eyes to the needs of those around you. Begin to use what you got. Take the least. Take, take what you've got and use it for the glory of God. Take what you've got, whatever it is, and give it to God. God will multiply it, and souls will be won into the kingdom of God. You say God saved you. You say you're called. You say God learned you everything you know. You say Well, I say this. You say you got God. I say show me God in you. Not by what you say, but by what you do. I say show me God in you. Not by what you say, but by what you do. Are you who you say you are? Are you applying the Word of God in your life? Hey, this is Rachel. Um, there's a verse that's been on my heart for several days now, and it's in Romans chapter 9, verse 27. Isaiah also cried concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. You know, the sand of the sea, you know, we can't even imagine how many people that would be. And only a small amount of those will actually be saved. Be it, you know, you've got all these that think they will. You know, and in Revelations it says it again that when the devil rises, you know, he, his is going to be as the sand of the sea, his members. And it's really scary to sit and think that so many, they think that they're going to go to heaven. They think they're out with the Lord. They really aren't. And I just pray, you know, that people get their hearts right and they give it all to God because in order to have a change, you got to be, you have to be able to give it all to the Lord. You can't hold on to anything. You know, we can't be like the woman that turns to look back and turns to a pillar of salt, likewise. We have to, to be delivered. We have to give him complete control and turn it all to God. And I just pray people understand that. And, you know, he searches our heart. When we pray, he knows our heart. And you see so many continue on and down the wrong path that we say they're right. They've not give their heart to the Lord. And Jesus knows. And, you know, he knows our hearts better than we do. And just the words we speak don't mean nothing if it's not in our hearts. But love you all. Bye-bye. Sorrow.
Thank you, Sister Rachel, for calling in and sharing the Word of God to a lost and dying world. We thank you for that. Thank you for your obedience. And that's what we're trying to teach people is <laughs> the phone line is a way of reaching out. When, when you've got a burn in your heart, call and share with us. You may have to call and share with others, too, or you may have to go and tell others. But please call and share any hour of the night. You can pick up the phone. You can call, share that word. It gets used on one of our future programs. It's out in the archives forever. It's on the Internet. It can be listened to by multiple, multiple people. How powerful is that? 
And I need you, not only Sister Rachel, I need you, each and every listener, whether you're listening live or by way of the archive. You see, it's not by accident you stumbled across this radio station. No, it's by heavenly divine appointment because I'm crying out and asking for help from the body of Christ, from the real men and women of God. Not the won't be's, could be's, and should be's. I'm talking about those of you that say, hey, I'm not ashamed to get involved. I'm not ashamed to let my voice be heard. I'm not ashamed to tell my name. Yeah. Who I am. I'm a child of the king. I'm not ashamed. I'm not afraid. I don't fear no man. So I don't care to share what county, what state I'm in. I don't care. Because I trust God with every fiber of my being. And I'm asking you, those of you that's born again, those of you that's bathed in the blood, those of you that are sold out to Christ, those of you that say, I've got a made up mind, come hell or high water, I'm going to serve God. And I am going to take advantage of this opportunity on this little radio program. And I'm going to call once a day with a testimony. Maybe it's a verse, maybe, maybe once a day, you know, how they have that on uh, Facebook. They have like uh, uh, the verse, uh, a day or whatever, you know, and, and I love that. So call once a day and share share a Bible verse here on the radio program. Call and share uh, your prayer request. And imagine the multiple believers that can be praying for your need on the archives. Wow, ain't that awesome? You know, unless you're caught up in numbers, unless you want to see how many is praying, unless you want to see how many people's going to check the like, you know, on Facebook, you get into the prayer rooms and you got 500 members and 20 people trying to pray. You know, what's the rest there for? They're spies, man. They're nosy, busybodies. What are they doing? They don't pray. You know, hmm, what do they do? I mean, they never interact. You know, what are they doing? I, oh, they're busy playing the Facebook games, you know. Yeah, or, or they're busy gossiping. You know, I mean, how many evangelists is on my page and on my old page? But they never interacted with me. They never uh, shared Bible verses with me. They never called in on not just the radio program. They never commented on nothing I put up. You know, if you get to paying attention to your Facebook page, you find out that you just got very few people that actually care about anything you're putting up anyway. And that's the truth. But we put it up because we're after the one. We're after the one that is going to touch their heart. We're after the one that's seeking. Yes, seeking. We're after the one that wants to hear the truth. We're after the one that says, hey, I want to make heaven my home. We're after the one that says, I fell in love with Jesus and I love the body of Christ. And pretty soon the numbers will add up for the real. But you got to allow God to get the phony baloney out of your life. you got to allow. See, I get sick when people say, well, the devil tore our church up. No, he did not. He don't have the power to do that. But God will separate the light from the dark. God will separate good from evil. God will make their sins be known. They'll either repent or they'll either leave. That's the truth. The devil don't do that. You see, the devil, he wants to blend in. You know, he wants to have, um, well, let's say a concert, not church. You know, think about it and research it in the Word of God and find out what church means. Find out what it means to be in the body of Christ, to be Christ-like. Find out what it means. Yeah, you, personally, you read the Word of God. You get into the Scripture. Get into the to the food, the meat of God. You say, oh, you mean, it, you mean, oh, I'm, I'm, you mean I'm supposed to do something? Yeah, you're supposed to do more.